Hello, my friends. Welcome back to The Morning Mindset. I hope you're ready to get your mind aligned with the truth of God's Word. I don't know if you noticed, but just yesterday, we published an extra episode, which we do every Friday, which is called our Pray Together episode. It's an opportunity for you and me to pray for the needs of others who have submitted requests to be prayed for. You can get in on that next Friday, first by joining us for that episode and listening and praying along as we lift up requests and praises from around the world. But you also can submit your requests to be included on this coming Friday's episode. I would encourage you to do that. We love praying for the needs that you have. You can go to carrygreen.com slash prayer. It's a link you'll find in the description for this episode. And leave your request there using the form. We would love to include you in the next Pray Together episode. All right, friends, let's turn our attention to Psalm chapter 119, verse number 11. Now, if you're not familiar with Psalm chapter 119, there are some very unique and distinct things about it. First off, Psalm chapter 119 is the longest chapter in the Bible in terms of the number of verses in the chapter. There are 176 verses in the chapter. Secondly, Psalm number 119 is distinctly focused on the Word of God. I believe there are only three verses in the entire chapter that do not specifically mention the Word of God in some way. It will use phrases like your precepts, your statutes, your testimonies. Those are all synonyms for the Word of God. And also, the chapter of Psalm 119 is laid out in an acrostic with a section for every letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And all of the verses under that heading begin with that letter of the alphabet. So it's kind of a poetic, kind of an acrostic of sorts. And so today, as we look at Psalm 119, verse 11, naturally, we're going to be talking about something that has to do with God's word, because it's coming from a chapter that is all about that. And so Psalm 119, verse 11 is what I want to focus on. And it says, your testimonies, so there we have the reference to God's word, your testimonies are my heritage forever, for they are the joy of my heart. Now, friends, as I read this verse, this is a convicting thing to me, because there are lots of things that I would say are the joy of my heart. My family, my relationship with my wife, even my dog, sometimes I would say is, is a joyful thing to my heart because she is a joy, a, a spot of joy in my life. But friends, look at what David says here. He says, God, your testimonies are the joy of my heart. So in other words, your word, the words that flow from your mouth, God, the truths that you tell me, the instructions that you give me, the prophecies that you've revealed in the Old Testament, even the Levitical law, which was very much part of the testimonies that David would have been referring to, those were all considered the joy of his heart. He had learned to delight in all of those things because in those things, he found God's truth. He found joy by aligning his mind with the way God thinks. And isn't that to be expected as we begin to think of the world and reality and everything going on in the way God, the one who runs it all and who created it all thinks, we will find ourselves living in harmony with reality. There will be no dissonance. There will be no sense of being ill at ease because we think differently than God does. No, we will find ourselves living in a place of harmony that produces joy. And friends, I want you to really assess yourself right now. Does your heart resonate with the Word of God in a positive way, where you find that the Word of God indeed is the joy of your heart? Do you read it, and when you come across difficult passages, even though they're difficult, you say, nevertheless, Lord, this is your Word? Nevertheless, I want to rejoice in what you're teaching me here, even if I don't understand it, and even if it feels a little odd to me? You see, friends, as human beings, we have to remember our place as the creature under the guardianship and the leadership of our God, who is our creator. And we need to rejoice in his word because his word is truth. Lord God, show us the joy that is to be found in your scriptures. Show us how to walk in that joy by embracing your word, 
by aligning our lives with it in terms of our behavior and our actions, by aligning our minds with its truth day after day like we do here in the Morning Mindset. Lord God, cause your testimonies to be seen rightly by us that we'll recognize how they are our heritage and how they can be the joy of our hearts. Lord God, make us as your people an obvious demonstration of what you do in the lives of your people when they align their lives with your truths so that you will be magnified and more and more people can say, your testimonies are the joy of my heart.